Hey guys, in today's video I will tell you how to use millivoltmeter. Uh, particularly this one is dual channel, so I can measure two channels at the same time. Uh, you see here is a connected uh, signal uh, from the deck output. And I have here resistors attached uh, to make a proper load. It's a 47 kilo ohm resistors. Are, and it's specified in most of service manuals are that deck has to be loaded on 7, 47 kilo ohm uh, to be uh, properly tuned. Okay? Now, let's talk about millivolt meter itself. So here you see uh, we have two switches which adjust the range uh, of the measurement on the scale and if I change amplitude uh, using my deck uh, you see my uh, needles are showing the amplitude so at this moment we have this black value it's one volt okay so this means the top scale we use using top scale which ends by 10 so the 10 will be one volt okay Okay. If I need 500 millivolts, I just need to go to the middle and make reading. Here is 500 millivolts. Right? Uh, there is a magic number, 770 millivolts, right here. Right? Uh, and it's easy to explain uh, because we measure power. You see, there are like four scales. Top scale R is in uh, millivolts or volts, uh, and it's uh, work when we use range one or 100 or 10, or like 10 here, then we use the top range, top scale, okay? Uh, when we use three or 0 0.3 volt or 30 millivolts, we using the lower black scale to measure the amplitude, okay? And when we measure decibels, uh, the top red scale is a dBV, like it's dB volts. And uh, this scale used in my practice only by Pioneer, because they put their values in dBV. Uh, all other manufacturers use dBm, which means power, or dBU, okay, units. And that's where I'll be using the lower scale. To measure the values so this value 770 millivolts is uh, a power or energy stored in the sine wave amplitude by one volt okay and we measure the power the power of the signal and that's where we using the lower scale in most cases on most decks and you see zero here is currently mean zero decibel so this is the reference value, uh, which is used by many uh, manufacturers. Um, and it was uh, like, uh, used um, before 1980 heavily, uh, because like uh, all DEX has been tuned to zero uh, decibel as their output level. And Nakamichi DEX, uh, the first two generation, they were using as uh, a one volt as a full output uh when you like uh, they have adjustment and when you put output to the maximum usually you tune to one volt okay and here is the reference values okay so it's zero decibel uh modern decks like uh, end of 80s and uh, 90s year they have reference value minus five decibel so minus five here, I usually mean uh, zero uh, decibel on the scale level of uh, 250 nanometer scale. Uh, this scale is when uh, Dolby sign is just left uh, by one decibel to the zero level on your deck scale. I will post a link to the article below my uh, video 
so where you can see the different scales which has been used on uh, multiple tape recorders so there was uh, three different scales one was uh, adopted early when zero decibel mean uh, 160 millivolts is uh, first standard then uh, everybody switched to uh, zero level as 250 nanoweber and that's where like uh, using the Dolby uh, sign we can understand uh, what our deck is capable of okay what is the reference zero level for example I'm currently using uh, my Victor which is GVC and they have zero level as uh, 160 now November heaven it's like deck been released in the 1989 uh, it was up to manufacturers but uh, most of them rely like uh, a zero uh, level on the deck as minus five decibel output power so when you use uh, tapes uh, like metal tape we shall also to record like up to plus six decibel higher so that's where your output level would match most of the standards and would not overload your audio equipment okay uh, this uh, would be the first part now how to read values so when i see minus five here uh, mo in most cases for me this means uh, that uh, deck is on the zero level right and when i need for example set minus 20 decibel on the deck i have to switch this switch minus 10 minus 20 and then again adjust to minus 5 decibel on the scale so relatively to zero uh, it will be minus 20 on the deck but it will show minus 25 on the millivolt meter you see minus 20 decibel here and minus 5 here minus 25 reading here but it's still just minus 20 on the deck scale because we were uh, making relative measurements uh, because like a zero level on the deck matches minus five decibel on the millivolt meter that's the basics okay and now you may adjust levels on your deck make sure that your like uh, 400 gears and 10 kilo gears uh, will be equal on the playback on the recording across your ta decks tapes and so on so that's where you use uh, this uh, scale switch here you see if i will set zero decibel it will show me zero minus 20 and below minus 20 here minus 25. okay if I will set minus 15 here, you see, then I switch here and I have minus five. As easy as that. Uh, what else? Uh, I don't know what else I can tell you. Uh, my VTVM currently switch it to operate with one switch, so uh, I believe there is switch right here, selector, when I can use them separately or just control with one switch. Uh, your VTVM may differ a little bit, you may have just one channel or just one switch, whenever. Also make sure when you don't have signal that your needles should be on zero and you adjust them right there, you see? The boss should be at zero level. I, and now when I set signal, you see, we have values. My, uh, I don't know what else. Uh, if we will talk about Pioneer, they use this top scale. That's when they set level 160 nanoweber. They tell like, uh, you need to set level minus uh, 10 point or, or 11.2 decibel. If minus 11.2, it would be minus nine on the lower scale, you see? And this would be 
just four decibel below the reference zero level for the 250 nanometer. So I still would prefer to use lower scale, it's more convenient because you will use uh, wall numbers when on the uh, DBV scale you always will operate with uh, decimal numbers. Uh, that probably would be it. Send me your questions. So you see here is a value 0 dBm is power is 1 milliwatt at 600 ohm volt. Okay, so this zero level is one milliwatt. Okay, thank you for your time. Uh, hope to see you soon. Uh, come up with your questions. I'm open to answer them. Uh, let me show you scale I've been talking about. So here is the scale. This zero level is 460 nanometer. And this scale even don't have a Dolby sign, you see? But if I install the tape, so for example, type one tape into this deck, it immediately identifies that it's norm tape and show me maximum recording level here, plus six decibel. And this plus six, actually plus two decibel, uh, if you will be using scale for 250 nanometer. So on Sony, on like uh, other decks, this will be the zero right here. Not here, but right here. And Nakamichi has uh, their own scale. The zero level is a Dolby level, actually, which uh, should be in, seen here as plus three decibel. So Nakamichi level would be in between this two and four, right here. And just one decibel below the Sony, for example, reference levels. I will post uh, uh, article with different scales, so you would be able to read about it. It's it's not complicated. Okay, thanks for your time. See you and bye bye.